Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. I've been losing to this cold I've been battling, but I want to get this video out, so the show must go on, and who knows, I may not have a voice tomorrow, but I do now, as damaged as it might be, I do, and I really want to do this showcase because, yes, a rarity on Lamley, I'm showing green light, and I am so excited to do it. I've gotten the question a lot. John, why don't you do green light? And the answer is just because I don't collect it. It's not because I dislike green light. There's some models I really like, some I don't. But I have to draw the line somewhere. I only have limited space. And if I collected everything that I like, I'd be in real, real trouble. And so unfortunately, I drew the line at green light. That being said, I still have some. I kind of use them to fill the gaps. If they do something that I think is unique, and that's definitely today, or something I just think is just a must have, then I do it. And that is what this is. Now, by way of introduction, I think I've actually showcased this model on the channel before. This is the Ford GT. I think I have two of these. This is the one I like. I don't even remember what this one was called, like what the name of this one was, but I really like this Ford GT. I think it's one of the best replicas of the newest generation Ford GT that's been done in 164. There's a little bit to be desired in some of the other brands that have done it. So I really like the green light. I'm really walking you through literally the green lights, all the green lights I have in my collection right now. This is another one, Chevy C10 pickup with the camper. I thought this was such a unique model, and I thought it was really cool, so I have kept that one. That's the second model, and then the third model is just right here, and I have four of them. It's the Airstream Bambi. I was so excited when green lights tried uh, started doing this one as part of the hitch and toe and then I think they've released some individually as well I really like that what is that a gold or cotton it's not a copper but some sort of color and then of course we just some others that are that are straight up a little bit more of the of the stainless steel look which I think are really really cool so I don't have all of the Bambis that's my whole thing with green light once I see a casting or a version I like I'm not going to collect them all some models I do that with some brands but as far as it goes now with uh, with green light, just it's if it hits this spot, I'm gonna get it. And I have these four Bambis, and I think they're great. Problem is, I don't have anything to tow them with because I got rid of the trucks that uh, that carried them. I need to keep a couple of those because they're cool too. Let's get to what I am showing you today. I'm going with several green light. I got these from several sellers, and I want to make sure I mention them so that they get uh, some credit. Um, some of these I purchased. Some of those were sent to me. Um, and I'm going to walk through those right now. I put the two that I'm most excited about right in front of me. Actually, they're just, well, the two castings, because that's what we're going to go over today. One is the 1971 Datsun 510. This is in Brie livery. Do we need another Brie car? Probably not, but I'll get to why I kept this one. Um, and I'm going to walk through a bunch of the 510s. It's not all of them. And then we're going to finish off with this. This is the one I'm most excited about. This one definitely fills a gap. It is Bigfoot. I'm not a monster truck guy, but I am a kid who grew up knowing what Bigfoot was, just like tons of people my age. And when I saw that green light did it, I was like, I have to have it. This one was sent to me by Surplus Goodies. There is a link down below. So I'll try and mention the sellers that sent these, and then we will go from there. Okay, we are starting with the Datsun 510. One thing you are not going to see today is me opening these models, just because they're a pain. I'm going to open them because that's the better feature. But I have my trusty scissors, my fingers are ready to be sacrificed to the opening gods, and you know what? Maybe that's why I don't feature green light, because they're such a pain to open! I just like ripping the things right open, and then it, we're done. But these, you gotta like plan ahead to open them up. Alright, I'll stop complaining. Anyway, why the Datsun 510? We're gonna walk through all of these that I got, because A, for example, we've seen plenty of BRE 510s, from, uh, well, I mean, we start with Hot Wheels, right? We've seen the BRE everywhere. Everyone customizes it. So why that? And then B, why the 510 in general? Everyone's doing a 510. Everyone is doing a 510. Obviously Hot Wheels, M2. We've seen Jada do it. Obviously Greenlight. Do we, and oh, even Tomica Limited Vintage. Do we need more 510s? Well, yeah, we do because this one's fantastic. That's why I have it. A lot of the Tokyo Torque and some of the other JDM stuff that Greenlight's done, I haven't been too particularly fond of. But that 510, if it isn't tremendous, and I'm looking forward to opening it. Also, this Rally 240Z, I'm going to add it to this feature just because. 
when I first saw the 240Z that they were doing, like the BRE and stuff, I was like, I am not into it. It sits too high. It doesn't look right. But when it sits as a rally, now I'm into that. So I'm going to open that up as well. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. I just want to explain why I like this 510. There's enough of these. I'm not going to collect all of them. But I like these and I want to add them to the collection because I think they look good and they are replicas of models I like. Let's walk through it. This is where we're going to start. This is from the Under the Hood series. It's a collector's club. club. You can freeze the screen if you want to read all of that. This one came from Surplus Goodies. There's a link down below. Um, it was nice of them to send it to the Bigfoot as well. This one, I like it. I like it a lot. I like the style. It's very much from the era. Has a couple of you know logos that I don't need, but I thought this style was good, and Surplus Goodies was nice enough to send it to me. So there is the first 510. I like it. I like the other ones that I'm going to show you just a little bit better. And we're going to start with this one. I've already shown it to you. It's the BRE 510. You know that style. It is an iconic racing car. It uh, you know was made famous by John Morton and Peter Brock, and then. Kind of in our world, let's be honest, by Hot Wheels. But this replica is great. Its, st it's stance is right. The, the 510 that Hot Wheels does is more modified. This one is more stock. This one looks like, to me, and I green light people, I hope this is okay. This one looks like if Tomic Limited Vintage had done it. I think it looks really good. I've had some issues with green light and their proportions and some of their quality. But this is super, super nice. The, 5 the 510 in BRE livery. And I thought, since I want that one, I'm not going to collect everything. And they're doing a ton of BRE models. I don't need them all. I'm good with the number 46. And I'm good having this green light number 46 as well to add to it. So I open the chase to add to the other ones. It's kind of a cool little fleet of number 46 race cars. It's kind of nice that they got to do that. So that is one. Here's the Datsun Rally. I don't like the other 240Zs that they've done. I do like this one in the Rally Deco. Um, which I think is a stock deco as well. So I think this one is very, very cool as well. So hooray to them for green to Greenlight for doing what I consider fantastic uh, JDM models. I mean, we'll see as with some of these. They've obviously done the R34. Um, I actually have one of those. I'll show it in a second. But these I want to go over. These are really, really cool. Oh, where did these come from? These came from the Toy Pimp. The Toy Pimp is on Instagram. There's a link down below. That is my friend Jeff. You want to go to him on Instagram. That is where he sells. He'll you also find him at JCCS and things like that. He was very nice. I bought those from him, but I want to give him a little plug as well. He's got a ton of Japanese die cast, which is pretty amazing. There's I don't think there's very many people that have what he has. All right, I want to get to these Bishop models. And what am I talking about? These are all 510s. These came from J Car. J Car die cast. There's also a link to their store down below. And they are the only store in the United States that has these Bishop models. Bishop is a lot. Greenlight will do a lot of exclusives. I've showcased some of these before. They do a lot of exclusives with sellers, other companies. And this is one that they've done with this company out of Indonesia called Bishop. Starting with the Monte Carlo number 90. And have you seen this before? Yeah, you bet you have. In fact, you've seen it from Tomica Limited Vintage just in the last year. We saw two in that rally style. Um, one, this I think the Rally Monte Carlo is from a movie, if I remember correctly. I could be off. I could be one or the other. I can't remember. And then we've seen that same style from M2 with their 510. Not not the same stock style. It's obviously number 12. I don't know if that's a that's um, just their take on it. But we've seen that style a lot. is iconic for the 510 rally. And now we have that with green light and it's nice to share these remember these are not available anywhere at retail they have to be purchased through here in the united states at least through j car so it's really cool that they have them they sent these over to me so i could have a look at them i just thought they were super super cool so this one i don't see a lot of difference you know the the um tomic limited vintage might have a little bit more detail just because of the level of quality but it's also what three times four times more expensive than the green light Really, really cool model. Plus, you get the figure with it. So, how cool is that? That is the Monte Carlo stock, or not, you know, racing stock with a licensed deco. I think that is fantastic. 
all of these come with these figures as part of this of part of these exclusives, which I think is really cool. This is the Caltex number one. Now I went looking this up. I have no idea if this is a licensed deco. Those of you who are the experts in this area can tell me if it is. The four spoke wheels in orange. Really like the deco on that one. And then lastly, really dig in the Pennzoil one. I just think these figures are cool as well. So these three are still available at JCAR. I highly suggest if you want them, you go get them because these are limited and they're very, very cool. I think, I don't know if it's Greenlight that comes up with these ideas or the people over at Bishop, but um, how cool are these exclusives? Okay, those are the five tens. Do they fill a gap? Oh, you better believe they do. Do I need any more? There might be one or two. I just like the Datsun 510 like so many of you do. So maybe one or two more, but I definitely don't need all of them. And we're going to see a ton of them from Greenline. It's been a popular model, and that's what they tend to do is release them over and over and over again. And that'll probably be the same with this one, but I don't care. I am so excited for Bigfoot. I'm probably more nostalgic about this than anything. I don't know. I don't have kids that go to Monster Jam. I don't know anything about the monster truck world today. All I know is that every kid my age thought that Bigfoot was just badass. It was just the coolest thing. And we don't have a proper Bigfoot today. In the way they can do diecast these days, we finally do. Greenlight's done it. Hot Wheels Inc. has one coming out, but Greenlight wins because they got it to it first. Right? None of this Monster Jam stuff. I like this. And I think it looks so cool. I mean, maybe there's some other versions of this truck, but this is how I remember it. The blue essentially stock i mean it's not stock obviously but it looks like a truck that's lifted it doesn't look like a dragon or whatever it looks like a truck and i thought this was the coolest thing and i love that green light did it i told surplus goodies i had to have it they sent it to me and i have it in the collection now no place to display it it's way too big but i am so happy to have it and now i have my little niches i have my Airstreams, I have my camper truck, I have my assortment of 510s, and I have my Bigfoot. I'm good for now, green light. I'm looking for more. I'm looking for more exciting models to fill in the gaps. That's what I got. Thanks, everybody. Bye.